Hey folks, this is uh, Eric coming from Kansas again. Um, did a little video on these uh, Battleborn batteries the other day that uh, I got for my stationary uh, backup power system here. And uh, <clears throat> wanted to do a little video on, extra video on this uh, current surge limiter that Battleborn wants you to get. If, if you have a, uh, an inverter over 4,000 watt uh, continuous duty, uh, they want you to get one of these uh, uh, current surge limiters to uh, basically soft start the batteries. Now I'm sure it's not a big deal if you have a big bank of these batteries that surge on uh, on each one. You know, like a bank of you know eight or ten or more. I'm guessing that the surge on them is not going to be near as much as with just four on the 4,000 watt inverter I've got. But at any rate, they want you to get one of these. So I did. Um, I I can't tell if it actually make it makes a difference or not. I, I uh, there's been times when I've switched on the inverter and, and the batteries do still shut down. Uh, but at any rate, uh, I've got it and I'm continuing to use it, um, using it kind of like a bus bar, uh, if you will, a little bit. But anyway, so. Um, I just want to do a little video on the on how it's connected because I, I I talked about um, so, some more stuff on on the other video I did. So um, it's got two. So so it, it the main connections for it they, they want you to connect it to the negative side of the battery. So that's why I've got my black negative cables that connect to it here. So <clears throat> it's got a battery connection. You can see that right there. Bat. So I've got uh, two batteries hooked up in parallel to it. And then over here on the other end is the inverter side, INV. And I've got two battery cables connected to that that goes to my uh, negative bus bar over here. Uh, that didn't open up. Um, <clears throat> The other connections on this to allow it to, to be to the for the MOSFETs or the transistors in, in here to be powered to to allow it to, to uh, do the soft start is um, I usually have a piece of port over this so I can protect things from shorting out when I'm working on the batteries with tools and stuff but anyway. The connections that power this so so it requires a uh, obviously a, a little bit of power from the positive side to so that's what this cable is for right here. And it obviously is connected to the positive side of all the DC, uh, low voltage DC stuff. So <clears throat> that, the, and they, they wanted you to have this on the other side of the, the fuse or the uh, breaker connection. So I had to run this up through my DC connection box. So it connects here, that's the positive connection and it, it's isolated from the negative side here. It's, it's on a little circuit board in the middle here if you can see that. So here's the negative battery connection and then here's uh, the positive connection. This is, a, this is a circuit board, it's not a not a piece of metal. Well, I guess, no, no i take that back. It, it is a piece of metal but there's a rubber washer on either side of this. Uh, if you can see that. This screw has a rubber washer on it and this bolt nut has a rubber washer in between this and the metal plate and then the metal plate has some that's where the uh, uh, transistors and MOSFETs are at in there. Anyway, so this wire runs up uh, into my positive bus bar box here, up through uh, <clears throat> this box here, and then up through the tube, uh, conduit, sorry, and then um, up to my midnight solar DC disconnect box and it comes up right through here and connects up to the opposite end or uh, inverter side of the uh, my 250 amp DC breaker so that's how, that, how that's connected <clears throat> all the back down here it's right right in here there's the wire. So that's the connection on the positive side to give it the power. And then the other part is just the negative battery cables going straight through it, uh, basically. So that 
negative battery cable is connected to this metal plate right here in the center. And then these the two outside plates, C, C channels here, are the inverter connection to the battery. Uh, are, are on, on the inverter side. So that's how that's connected. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions for me, make, feel free to comment or uh, ask them in the comments. And uh, we will see you later.